Good morning, Bridgewater. Coming to live from Studio 509. It's time for Bobcat News. Today's Tuesday, March the 26th, 2019. Welcome to another stellar edition of Bobcat News. I'm Natasha Mendes. And I'm Bell Ryzen. The deadline to complete NJHS applications is this coming Friday. Completed applications can be returned to Portable 12 or the front office. Late or incomplete applications will not be accepted after 4 p.m. on Friday. April is Austin's Autism Awareness Month. To show the uniqueness of our school, SGA is planning a Kindness Spirit Week next week. Things kick off Tuesday with a shine a light on autism awareness by wearing a blue shirt. Spring is here and the warm temperatures are rising. Cool off with ice cream. Beginning April 1st, SGA is selling mini melts for $4. There will be six flavors to choose from. SGA will be selling on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays in front of the school. 10% of proceeds will go to autism research. What is blackout poetry? Come find out during your lunch in the Media Center today for Crafting Tuesday. Attention 8th graders, GradVenture is just around the corner. Please remember to turn in your second payments. Now it's time to check in with Kayla Serrano for the latest in Bobcat Sports. Hey sports fans, it's Kaylee. Track season is approaching fast. The first meet is coming next week. On Tuesday, April 3rd, as your Bobcats will take place at Carver Middle School as your Bobcats face Chain of Lakes. For those on the track team, there will be practice today. A parent information meeting will follow practice. Now it's time to turn to Liam Scully for your Bridgewater forecast. Liam. Here's how your Bobcat day is shaping up. We will have a high of 79 degrees with lots of sun. Today's joke of the day is, why did the man put his money in the freezer? Because he wanted cold, hard cash. Now let's take a look at your five-day forecast. There's a chance of rain tomorrow, but the rest of the week looks great with sun and highs in the 70s. Now, back to the desk. Thank you, Liam. It's time to check in with Miss P for today's installment of the Mindful Minute. Good morning, Bobcat family. Miss P here with your Mindful Minute of the Week. Coming out of spring break, I hope you guys were able to practice some of the mindfulness techniques that we shared with you this year. I know I certainly did while I was on the beach over spring break. Um, so just a reminder for March, our character trait of the month is self-discipline. Okay, and that goes back to all those self-regulation skills, making sure that we are more self-aware um, of things overall, but then we're also managing ourselves and practicing these different techniques so that we can live a healthier lifestyle. So last time you guys were here with me, we had Miss Lund who shared the tap and wiggle. So that one was a little challenging um, for me. It's boosting your brain power. And what that does, it connects your um, sides of the brain with your uh, motor skills on the opposite side. So that's the one where you tapped one foot and then you tried to move your fingers of the opposite hand at the same time. I actually practiced this one. I'm getting pretty good at it. Um, I did run into Deputy Ryan, uh, who was trying to do this uh, right before sea lunch, um, before we left for the break. So I challenge you guys to challenge Deputy Ryan and see if he can actually make this happen. Um, the new one that I have for you this week is called Mind Castle. Okay, and this one is developing your powers of concentration. So as we are going into testing season, we wanna make sure you guys are able to hone in your concentration skills uh, before you go into any testing environment, okay? So this one, you're gonna sit mindfully with your spine straight and your body relaxed. You're gonna close your mind, or you, you're gonna close your eyes, not your mind, keep your mind open, and you're gonna take three slow, soft, mindful breaths. You're going to draw a castle in your mind. What does it look like on the outside? Does it have towers or a drawbridge? Now go inside your castle. What do you see? Wander through the rooms. Notice the shapes, the smells, and sounds in each room. If you start to think of something else, take a deep breath and blow out the air. Bring your thoughts back to your castle. Finish when you have explored every room. What did you discover? You are building brain power when you pay attention to all the details of your mind castle. 
okay? So we want you guys to start practicing. If you are picturing something in your mind, you're focusing on that particular thing. If your mind starts to wander, like it often does, you have to refocus and bring it back. And this is a skill you can definitely take into testing with you. Um, so that's all I have for you this week. We hope you have a very meaningful Bridgewater day. Thank, Thank you for joining us for Bobcat, Bobcat News, you can use. And as always, have a great day.